Right everyone, I'm um, getting a few stags ready for shipping. These are going abroad. These are some of the Oshamos I've bred myself. Uh, three stags, I'm going to pull it in there. What's all going abroad? Uh, I want to show people if they're like shipping birds or sending the birds abroad or getting them from abroad, the best things to use are these boxes. They're made in Turkey. Uh, I'm getting another 10 cent over so if anybody needs any, give me a message and sort this out with, uh, with a few of them. Uh, but yeah, they're the best things to use when you're going abroad or long distance traveling with birds. They're all carpeted inside, everything's breathable. Um, yeah, on the sides, they've got all air vents and everything like that. They can do a lot of distance traveling in them boxes. Not like the carbal, when the carbal breaks up their tails, um, like messes up their feathers and everything. These keep your birds pristine. Um, also, I've had a couple of messages. Uh, people asking what makes some birds more expensive than others. Um, it's, I don't really know how to explain it to people. Um, but cheaper money will buy cheaper birds. That's the only way I can explain it. Um, if you want the proper thing, if you want the right thing, you've got to pay the right money, basically, like everybody else has to. Uh, like these birds, the traveling, um, the miles, the money you've got to pay to get the right animals, uh, it costs us money. So, especially with the breeders abroad, you know, Dave, had these for years. Uh, selective breeding, selective ends, back to the certain cocks to get the right breed. You're not going to pick them up for cheap money. Uh, so that's the best way I can explain it to people. Cheap money, both cheap birds. Um, if you want the right thing, you've got to pay like everybody else has to. Um, because even if you go abroad, they'll ask you a lot of money. Uh, a guy in Germany asked me uh, 1500 for a bird the other day. Um, even though he's a cheap bird. If I had the courier at the time, I would have bought him. But he sold before I could get the courier sorted out. But yeah, that's that's the point I'm trying to make. If you want the right thing, you've got to pay the right money. Um, so yeah, that's the best way I can explain it to the people who's asking, who's just getting into the sport. It's all right if you're like, just starting off and you just want something, you know, you know how to keep, you know how to bring on without laying out, say like 2,000 on a pair or a lot of money on a pair of birds. So spend a couple of hundred getting something uh, just how you get the hang of it. For just to have a bit of fun with. Bit of fun, just for the beginners, basically. Just for the beginners. The um, beginners who don't really know what they're doing with the birds, thinking they can pick up something, you know, high end for cheap money. It is, you're not going to do it. You can't get something bred the right way. Uh, whatever you're into, it doesn't matter if you're into horses, dogs, chicken, whatever, obby, or whatever you're into, it costs us money to get the right, the right thing. Uh, so yeah, that's that one. Uh, also, I'm going to be doing another competition for everyone. Uh, earlier on in the year, I done one what Curtis won. Curtis Price, he won the, um, the trophy and the prize money. So I'm going to be doing another one uh, with the stags, what everybody's bred through the year. So everybody who's got like, a nice stag they've bred or a nice pullet, uh, post it up. I'll start the competition in about a week or something. Um, and yeah, I'll get a nice bit of prize money for someone and another trophy. So everybody can join in again. Uh, I love seeing all the birds, what everybody's posting. I've got a lot of family on uh, me channel, Game Birds UK on Facebook. And I suppose they're on the YouTube channel as well, watching. I love seeing everything, what you post. So yeah, carry on posting, everyone. And yeah, I'll do another competition and we'll have another bit of sport. Thanks everyone, I'll see you in the next one.